Well, good morning. We are here with Kevin, and what was your last name, sir? Malik. Malik, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his business, Timber Leaf, and about the trailer itself and the manufacturing of it. So, Kevin, why don't you get us started? Tell us about your trailer. Well, the business we started uh, seven and a half years ago, and frankly, it's exploded early in the early days. We, we saw a huge increase in sales because we had lots of publicity. Most of it is because of our unique design. What you'd see is out of 40 or 50 teardrop manufacturers in the country, uh, what we excel at over all of them is our fit and our finish, our attention to detail, our ergonomics, our style, and also the fact that we use a lot of wood that a lot of people aren't really comfortable using. Uh, we'll use wood in the interior as opposed to plastic and fiberglass and things like that. It must take a lot of work to put wood inside of a well, teardrop does. trailer. And it has to be fitted properly. You know, one of the things that we do that nobody else that we know of does is we use a zero VOC wood finish. And that's really important to us. It's important to me because, frankly, you know, we want to have the people that buy our trailers be safe when they breathe the, the fumes from the finish. We want the, the people in our shop to be safe when they're spraying the stuff, and we don't want to pollute the the earth. So it's a win-win all the way across. It's a difficult finish to apply and not a lot of people do it for that reason. And where are you guys based out of? Grand Junction, Colorado. Grand Junction, Colorado. And so how does the whole project start? Can you describe the whole process of putting one of these together? Yeah. So we, we have all the steel chassis made in Grand Junction. They get delivered to us pre-coated with a powder coating finish uh, in six packs. In other words, they stack them up. They arrive at our shop, just the chassis alone. From that point on, we do everything else. We install the, the axles, the suspension, and everything from there up. All the wood, the aluminum, windows, everything happens in our shop. It's all done in one location, except for the componentry that we buy. Like, you know, we'll buy electrical, I mean, uh, aluminum components and stuff like that, fenders. Roof racks, things like that are made in specialty shops, but basically it's all built in our shop. And so you must have some good woodworking folks. We have a combination of really good folks. In other words, it goes from woodworking to aluminum working to mechanical to electrical. So we have specialists in all the different fields, but yeah, there, there's a lot of woodworking in our, our shop as compared to most. How far What's the farthest point somebody's bought this tra particular trailer from you, or style of trailer? Um, probably Maine. Maine, all right. Yeah. What I would tell you is most people come to pick the trailers up, although we can ship. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will travel three or four days to get to our shop, which isn't far from here, it's all right, uh, to pick up the trailer because they make a trip out of it. It's an adventure. In fact, a lot of people spend time in this area, particularly, in fact, we're close to Moab, so a lot of people will visit Moab on their way back to, to their home. But yeah, I think Maine is the farthest one. We've, well, no, I take it back. Japan. Yeah, we've got one that's been delivered to Japan and two more on order. So really? I, I think that actually wins wow. the farthest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, shipped it in a container and he's got two more coming. Wow, all right, awesome. So is there any unusual features that you've installed in one of these trailers in the past? Like something kind of, that's just kind of bizarre, but we can do this. Well, you know, one of the things we're known for, which actually is pretty frequent, we all put a, a, a special custom countertop in a trailer at a, at a premium, but it's a topo map. It's a topo map that runs right through the middle of Colorado. So it has continental divide running through the countertop. It has uh, Grand Lake, which is a big lake in Colorado, running right into the sink, for instance. But uh, we're the only one that we know of, because uh, it's our design, that does a topo map on the countertop. Awesome. And what kind of, kind of other features do tip, uh, people typically want to have installed? Well, our base units contain a lot of stuff to begin with. In other words, all the cabinetry, the, the lighting. Uh, on the classic, this is the classic here. It'll have the sink, uh, a stove, things like that. So there's not a lot of extra things they need to get. But generally, there are the things like the exterior things, 
like the uh, the awnings, the roof rack, the solar panel, um, a fridge in this case. Uh, sometimes you can upgrade the mattress, but our mattress starts out at six inches thick, so it's not a thin mattress to begin with. But usually it's upgrades or extra things outside the trailer. Uh, our suspension package is an option, but frankly, most people do upgrade their suspension package as well. So if somebody's out there watching this video, uh, what's your kind of niche? I mean, what kind of folks are buying these trailers? What kind of consumers are looking for something like this typically? What we get told a lot is people, as I said early on, they really appreciate our attention to detail. They like the fact that we use wood and we aren't afraid of using wood. We, we're comfortable with using wood. They like the way it makes them feel when they get inside the trailer as opposed to a, a white plastic finish. Um, the fit and finish is really important to us as it is to the people who buy it. So people aren't looking to necessarily get bigger you know, in fact, you've heard, you know, many people say bigger is better, and, and we don't necessarily agree. We feel better is better, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for something they can keep for many years and not be looking over their shoulder to upgrade. You know, the people who buy our trailer are, are upgrading, basically. Yeah. They're getting our trailer to last them for many years. So what have you done with the top there? It looks like there's something on top of your trailer. Yeah, well, that's where the roof rack is and the awnings. For instance, on this one, we have two awnings. Okay. Uh, they're not deployed now because of the wind, but basically we have several different awnings you can get. The beauty of our trailer is that it can go almost any place your vehicle can go. And so it doesn't mean that once you get to camp that you have to be limited to just the trailer because granted, if it's bad weather, you want to be able to deploy some awnings and protect yourself from the elements. So, and that's what, yeah. Speaking of the yeah. elements. Yeah, <laughs> we've got that coming right now. Well, I got one more question for you. Uh, tell us a little bit about the skylight on top. Uh, every one of our trailers, especially the, well, the Pika and the Classic, come built in with a, a skylight, two doors, and two windows. So all our trailers come with that. Our skylight is the biggest in the industry that we know of. In other words, you look around here, there's nobody with a skylight like ours. Uh, we've become very well known for that because to be able to sleep in the trailer and look out at the stars at night is a pretty amazing experience and be, and be protected from the elements. Absolutely. Good point there. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Is there any last minute details or anything else you want to add before we close out? Yeah, uh, I'm good. Thank All you. right, good deal. Thanks for the sure. time today. Once again, yeah, All right. you bet. So what is it called? Timberleaf? And they Timberleaf can find trailers. you at? TimberleafTrailers.com. TimberleafTrailers.com. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah, you bet.